Welcome to DPV Technology. Today we will see how to find out a transistor is an NPN transistor or it is an it is a PNP transistor. Let's begin. So first of all, you need one multimeter and your transistor. So keep your multimeter in the diode position. Here you see the diode symbol is there. So let's first see what is happening with the diode. So this is the positive terminal of the diode and this is the negative terminal of the diode. You see this side is positive and this side is negative. Let's connect it. Positive terminal of the DMM with positive side in positive side and negative side. You see there is a voltage drop across this diode and it is around 0.51. Now, let's see the configuration of this transistor. This is an NPN transistor. Actually, it acts as two diode. You see, there it's, it's configuration we can, that means we can draw like this. We can think like this actually. So you see, this is N, this is P, and this is N. So this is a diode, P and diode. This side is positive, this side is negative. Again, this side is positive, so this side is negative. Now let's take one PN and PN transistor. This is PC547 transistor. This is PC547. Now let's try. So you see this this base terminal I will keep here and positive terminal of the multimeter and negative terminal is here you see there is a voltage drop on the DMM 0.47 if we that means if if we now reverse the multimeter probe you see there is open circuit that means this this middle terminal is P and this terminal is N that's why voltage if we connect like this voltage drop is there Again, we will find out this portion. So, you see in the left side, you see first I connect this here and here, and you see there is a voltage drop. And now, if I reverse the connection, then you see there is open circuit. That means this side is positive and this is negative. So, this side is negative. That means this is N, P, N. So, we will find out. Then and the transistor. Let's begin with this. What is the transistor? So first, we we'll connect the base positive terminal of the DMM to the base and negative here. You see, this is open circuit. Oh, then reverse the connection. Here you see, reverse the connection. Now you see, there is a voltage drop. That means this terminal is P. Write it. This is P and this is N. Again, we'll do this for the left hand side terminal. You see, I'll connect this positive terminal in the middle and negative terminal at the left side. You see, this is open circuit. Oh, let's now change the direction. Oh, you see, there is a voltage drop. That means the middle terminal is negative that we already got and the leftmost terminal this terminal is positive so right here so this is a PNP transistor you see this is 557 actually you won't be able to see this this is a PNP transistor PC557 so actually why how this is the circuit diagram of this PNP you see this side is positive this is negative negative again positive so that's why actually we can think only huh this is not the actual this is not happening actually like this we can think like this to find it out actually so this is the so now in this method you can find any transistor you have whether it is NPN or PNP if there will be no voltage drop you see if there will be no voltage drop then reverse it 
if there is also no voltage drop then you will be able to know that the transistor is not good but here voltage drop is there obviously so this is this transistor is in working condition so thank you